According to the Summer Camp Association, summer camps can teach children certain skills that are not learned in school. And to help kids work on face-to-face -face communication, social interaction, and confidence, many camps in our area are banning cell phones and personal devices. Krista Lori has more in this week's Raising Our Kids. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. When campers start their day at Breezemont Day Camp in Armonk, cell phones are collected only to be returned after each day of device-free summer fun comes to a close. A change since last year. You used to have your cell phone, you just keep it in your bag, but sometimes like if it rains, we'd go in our cubby and we'd be able to use it. And now they like collect it. I think it's nicer though because you can interact with your friends more and your counselors. <laughs> Jason Mildy, a teacher as well as head counselor of the older campers here, runs group sessions with them on the topic and the value of unplugging. We felt that we just wanted to have kids have a technology-free environment. Um, we love using technology. I use it every day in my classroom, but using technology every single day becomes too much. According to a Kaiser Family Foundation study, today's children spend more than 7.5 hours a day engaged in media. And excessive media consumption prevents children from taking part in hands-on activities and socializing with others. <laughs> Breezemont's campers range in age from 3 to 13. Their philosophy for all age groups, today's children need the camp environment more than ever to have true face-to-face -face conversations to communicate. They encourage kids to be in the moment, not glued to screens. Well, a child can just be a child. They can come and actually communicate and talk and laugh and have fun. They can, it's education. Camp is an extension of the school year. Sure. There's education through play. Signs like this are posted all over Breezemont Day Camp. Put your cell phone in the bin. This is actually the first full summer that they've had this policy in effect. And campers say it was a little bit of an adjustment, but they really don't miss their devices. You really do adjust to it after a day or two. I mean, like, you'll want to go onto your phone, like, take a picture of something. But that's what the photographers are here for, to take pictures of you and your friends. So you really don't need your phone, and I really don't miss it. The majority of summer camps ban most technology, including TVs, smartphones, iPads, and computers allowing children to focus on learning new skills and taking part in social interactions. American Camp Association research has found that 92% of campers said that camp helped them feel good about themselves, and 70% of parents reported that their child gained self-confidence while at camp. 12-year-old Michelle says she feels relief sometimes after turning in her phone for the day. She says she's more focused on the activity at hand and doesn't think about checking for Instagram likes on a post. I think it's better because now we're on time for each of our activities and we're having more fun and we're not, oh, we don't really care about like who's liking our Instagram posts. We're not really aware of that. What they are aware of, new experiences, new friendships, and making memories in a community where children can grow and develop at a healthy pace. With Raising Our Kids, Krista Laurie, Fios One News.